Okay, welcome ladies and gentlemen to Kino Training Systems. This is the T2 Buckeye. Now this is an outdated uh, jet trainer, but um, I like this one. I like this simulation because all the controls in the cockpit are fully uh, operable. Um, I can uh, go to my virtual cockpit and I can literally uh, shut down and uh, fire up this aircraft um, just by going to different switches and buttons inside the aircraft. Uh, so normally when we do start it, I actually start it with a checklist. I'm not going to run through that because this aircraft is outdated. Uh, I'm going to start setting up future videos with the T-46 trainer aircraft, which is the more current uh, training device for the Navy, United States Marine Corps, and Coast Guard. Um, so um, this is for my aviation selection test battery applicants. Uh, this will uh, cover some basic uh, airplane information that you should be familiar with. First thing I want to do is to direct your attention to the stick in the middle. It's moving left, it's moving right now, it's moving forward, and it's moving backwards. Now, uh, one thing I want you to note is when we push forward, now we're not in flight right now, we're, we're sitting still on the ground with our parking brakes on, but when we push forward on the stick, the nose goes down. When we pull back on the stick, the nose goes up. If I move the stick to the left, the aircraft will roll left. And if I push it to the right, the aircraft will roll right. And if I kick the rudder pedals, the aircraft will yaw. So we pitch, sorry about that. So we pitch nose down and we pitch nose up. We roll right and we roll left and we yaw left and we yaw right. Now there's some flight control surfaces that um, help us get this done. Here's the elevator. When we move it, when we pull it back, the elevator goes up. Moving the tail down and the nose up. So that's how we climb. When we push the nose forward, or I'm sorry, not the nose, but the stick forward, the elevator moves down. The tail comes up and the nose comes down. So you can see it's like a balancing act. That is the elevator. Um, and the next control surfaces I'll talk about are the ailerons. When I move the stick to the left, this control surface goes up, this one goes down. This pushes this wing down and this pushes this wing up. We, conversely, when we move the stick to the right, this aileron goes up, this aileron goes down. So this wing will go up, this wing will go down. And we roll right in this case. So we roll left and we roll right. We talk about pitching and then we yaw. Uh, you can see a little bit of movement. I'll zoom in a little bit. You can see it a little bit better, but this is the right of the foot pedals. When we step on the right foot pedal, it's very similar to a boat, how a boat turns. Um, that's what this surface is. It is a rudder, and we yaw with the rudder. Now, since I'm here, I will talk about the five major components of aircraft. First thing we have is the fuselage. The fuselage is the main part that connects all the other components. Uh, so it's the main part. The cockpit, passenger, cargo, baggage. Um, there is a bar baggage compartment in here, but it's very small in terms to what in terms of what you would fly in a commercial aircraft. But it's, this is still an airplane. It has the five major components. So component one is the fuselage. It merges all the um, other components together. Uh, we have the wings. The wings are responsible for providing lift for the aircraft. Alright, so that's the second major component. We have the landing gear. This is, a, this is a tricycle type landing gear system because we have a, a nose well on the front and we have two main gear. And this is, this is a steerable nose well. So that will cover the fuselage, the wings, the landing gear. Um, the empennage, that is a French word, which means tail section. This dorsal fin is called a vertical stabilizer, and the flat 
surface almost level with the ground is called a horizontal stabilizer. They hold the rudder, the vertical stabilizer holds the rudder. Uh, the horizontal stabilizer holds the elevator. Okay, so um, that is the empanage. And then finally, we have our power plants. You cannot see them because they are housed inside the fuselage. Okay. But you can see the fans and they're swirling around. Okay. So those are the five major components. Ailerons, elevator, rudder pedal. So how do we get this thing off the ground? Okay. Well, let's go back to our cockpit view. When we reach a certain speed, we're going to gently pull back on the stick, and then what's going to happen is the wings are going to aerodynamically take the weight of the aircraft off the landing gear, and then we're going to retract the landing gear <coughs> to, do, to reduce drag. Uh, I'll do another video on the four forces. Actually, I've already done it if you've looked at my private pilot series on YouTube. So, I'm going to leave the sound down because it... Um, kind of interferes with my voice on another video I edited it. It's like I couldn't hear myself talk. So we'll go ahead and we will release the brakes and we will add power. Uh, the power is added by pushing the throttle forward. The airplane's moving forward a little bit, but um, we're going to move the forward up. Forward is towards full power and this is idle. So this is like pushing your gas pedal. If you can see this, your gas pedal. This is lighting off the gas pedal. This is stepping on the gas pedal. So we just stepped on the gas, and if you look around, we are accelerating. Now what we're going to do when we reach a certain speed, we're going to just gently pull back on the stick, like I said. We're going to gently pull back, and aerodynamically, we're, the wings are going to take the weight of the aircraft. So we're no longer resting on the ground and we have liftoff. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to raise our landing gear so that doesn't cause drag. With pilots we don't like drag. Alright. And we're just going to do a nice gentle climb, nothing too serious. And so to maintain level flight, basically I'm going to look at a flat or level surface visually. And my eyes are outside of the cockpit right now. I uh, come in every so often, glance at my airspeed to make sure that's good. But basically I want to look at the top of this panel and I want to keep it as parallel as possible with the horizon. Okay, so I can still look outside and you know, I'm not staring at the instruments and I'm just being vigilant, watching out for other airplanes and things of that nature because we are traveling at a pretty high speed. We've, uh, we're about 250 knots right now, uh, which is roughly, we're in between two, 250 and 300 miles per hour at this point. Um, I'm just going to gently bank or roll the aircraft. And let's go to an outside view so we can actually see the control surfaces at work. What the aircraft is doing now is rolling. So stick goes left, we roll left. Stick goes right, we roll right. We want to level out, we just add some back pressure, some uh, not back pressure, but just uh, left stick in order to get the wings level with the horizon. And that's pretty good there. If we want to pitch, nose down, we push and you can see the elevator moving. I don't know if you see it that well, but maybe that's a little bit better. So we can see when the elevator goes up, nose goes up. When the elevator goes down, nose goes down. So basically what's going on is there is a center of gravity and basically the aircraft or the force of flight are operating about that center of gravity. So when we do certain things with the control surfaces, be, be it rolling, be it pitching, nose down or nose up, or using our rudder, which is not very pronounced, but um, I'm not sure if you can see, I think the front view is a better view, where you can kind of see it a little bit better when we um, actually use it. Nah, not really. But um, 
that's pretty much it at this point. So I just wanted to talk about the basic flight controls and what the stick does. We push her forward, the nose goes down. We can even this is an aerobatic aircraft, so we're it's even uh, it even had it has the structural integrity to even be rolled like this. Every aircraft cannot do that. But this aircraft, um, we can do some pretty serious maneuvers with this aircraft, and uh, that's why the Navy used it to uh, train its uh, pilots when they moved into the jet jet community. Uh, let's see, uh, let's do a loop. Yeah, let's do a loop. Let's pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. Yeah, there's another thing I want to cover. Um, back. Okay. And we'll put add power now. So this is a very maneuverable aircraft. Um, Okay, so yeah, at this point, that's all I want to do. This is a very maneuverable airplane. Uh, I'm going to do videos in the T-46 because that would actually be the aircraft that you guys are going to be moving into. Um, so just stay tuned and just uh, like and subscribe and uh, continue to just keep posted because I'll actually be doing the actual NATOP startups and stuff. So. It's just very interesting and just help you keep you guys ahead of the game of your competition you know that you guys are when you guys are going for your wings and stuff you guys will have real operations and really nice cool simulators and stuff and um like I said the switches are all functional and stuff like that so I will be doing the engine startup and things of that nature so uh, this is Keno Thomas with Ke Keno I'm tongue tied this is Keno Thomas from Keno Training Systems. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and tell a friend. Thank you. One little nice little barrel roll before we leave. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, see you later guys.